guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys a daily deals with Tim, where I talk about the latest news and deals on cryptocurrency, all for you guys. And before I begin, this is my personal opinion and not financial advice. Now, today, I want to talk about Stellar Lumens and why I am interested in Stellar Lumens. Now, I talked about Stellar Lumens before in the video about um, most likely to be listed on Coinbase as a new coins. And I said this was one of them. Now, I I got into this. I read about the project and researched that uh, a couple weeks ago. And I'm really interested in it because it aims to be this kind of the middleman between financial structures. Now, this is going to be a middleman that is decentralized through the consensus protocol call, called SCP. No, wait. Yeah, so uh, it's it's kind of like a dis distributed consensus protocol where people all around the world can run Stellar Lumens nodes and they have these things called quant uh, quorum slices in that if a majority um, if majority approves of the transaction that it goes through, it's really complicated and I, I still haven't understand fully what it is, but there's a very heavy academic research behind it and it works. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to look more into it, but for now it's a decent, uh, decentralized governance protocol, consensus protocol, and it takes around two to five seconds to approve the transaction has a fee about I think something like a thousand of a cent cent per transaction pretty crazy so one thing to note about the stellar lumens project is that crazy fast transaction maybe 10 seconds at most and really low fee I think with one cent you could do around 300,000 transactions which is crazy and they also have uh, partnered with IBM and ClickX as to power the cross-border payments. So this is a payment system in which uh, it's going to kind of connect all these financial structures together through these decentralized network. Now, a couple of things that is um, that Stellar aims to solve is remittances. So send money across border quickly for a fraction of a cent. So let's say for for underdeveloped countries it's really hard to send payments uh i guess low uh, low payments across these underdeveloped countries so let's say you're in us you want to send some money to um i don't know nigeria now if you want to just send five dollars to nigeria the fee is going to be probably 10 to 15 dollars so you won't be able to send small money through them however Stellar aims to solve this by being like the decentralized middleman in that from your US bank, you can send $5 to Stellar and then Stellar would uh, convert the $5 to Stellar Lumens token or the XLM. And then from XLM, they would transfer it to the Nigerian currency and give them $5. And you can do that under 10 seconds with a fraction of a cent. So I really like this idea and what they're going for. Now, micropayments is kind of similar, but this could be done locally or globally. And the mobile branches. So they're aiming to kind of have these anchors, which is um, financial institutions or systems, and they could connect everyone together. And Stellar, by being this decentralized middleman, can connect all these financial institutions similar to how internet is used today. Um, no one no one owns internet. There's no there's no company that owns internet, but internet can be used by everyone and connects everyone together. And Stellar Lumens kind of wants to be this internet of the financial system. So really, uh, really good vision that they have. Also, mobile money. They want to make mobile money platforms interoperable. So Stellar wants to do this through the mobile phones so that it is easy for people to just have a smartphone and send money from one country to another through the Stellar Lumens network. 
and have that done under 10 seconds with a fraction of a cent. And service says for the underbanked. So you could basically have Stellar Lumens as your bank because you can transfer from any fiat currency to Stellar Lumens and Stellar Lumens to any other uh, fiat currencies or any other crypto as well. So um, this kind of aims to be a service for people that can't have a bank account. So in a sense, it's kind of solving Omizigo's problem because it, it, it doesn't aim to be a bank, but you can use it as a bank because you could have an account in Stellar Lumens, but you could also just send your money through your financial institution using Stellar Lumens. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose decentralized middleman for the financial in infrastructure. A lot of jargon out there, but it basically tries to be the decentralized middleman in the financial world. So really cool. Um, I really like this project. They're also focusing on underdeveloped countries um, by going there and showing them how this works and giving them a couple Stellar Lumens tokens to uh, make sure it works. And also their team. Now their team is really, really, really good in that there are heavily experienced people um, throughout the team and really great advisors that can make crazy or not crazy, but big differences in this project. Now they have some developers, partnerships, growth, chief scientists, uh, but a couple of people now I want to focus on is Jed McCaleb. Now he's a stellar developer. He's a co-founder of the Developer Foundation. He created eDonkey 2000, which is one of the largest file sharing networks. And also he created Mt. Gox, the first Bitcoin exchange, which he sold. And he also co-founded Ripple. Now, Mt. Gox, he first created it, but he sold off to another person. So with the, the scandal with that, he wasn't part of it because he first created and sold it off. And also Ripple, he also co-founded Ripple, but he didn't like the vision that Ripple had or the, the direction that's going. So that's why he came to Stellar Lumens. Now there are a lot of other developers out here and, and partners. Also, Joyce Kim, uh, she's one of the Stellar co-founders, board members. Now, she has a crazy experience prior to this project. So he was an attorney, um, and she also graduated from Cornell University at 19, graduate school in Harvard and Columbia Law School. He's also a director fellow at the MIT Media Lab. So really good education. And if you see her speak, you could kind of tell that she knows these kind of stuff. Now they have other people as well. They have a former CTO at Stripe. Stripe is one of the leading payment solutions similar to PayPal. They have ventures, um, investment partners, uh, CEO. They also have CEO of Stripe as advisors, founder of WordPress, one of the biggest blogging websites out there as advisor, founder of AngelList, big startup kind of a protocol. Now, professor at UCLA and a lot of other teams or other people that is very influential in this space. So I really like the team. I think they'll do great work through this project. Now, um, something about the Stella, how the Stellar network operates. So they, they give you a pretty simple slideshow on how it operates. So, so how to send Euro to your friend using US dollar in Stellar network. So let's see how it works. So internet is made of network servers containing our data, website, and application. And like the internet, Stellar is a network of decentralized servers in many locations that power a distributed ledger. So similar to Bitcoin in that they have a ledger, but it is done by these uh, decentralized servers. And the ledger records every transaction in the system for people and companies. The complete copy of global ledger exists in each Stellar server. Anyone can uh, run a server and the network becomes more robust with more servers. 
and the server communicates with each other to verify transactions and sync the ledger every two to five seconds. Now this is called consensus. The ledger records your money as credit, which is issued by the anchor. The anchors act as bridges between the given currency and Stellar network. So bank and payment processors are examples of real world anchors. Now credits issued to your online account, which acts like a virtual wallet in exchange for your deposit. The anchors have to be trusted to hold your money and honor your withdrawals. And issued credits can be sent and received between people in the network. Stellar also has a distributed exchange, which you can send Euro, uh, Euro credits to your friend using your USD credit. And the network will automatically convert it to the lowest rate. And your friend will receive Euro credit, which she can withdraw using the anchor supporting Euro. So all this said, basically talks about what I said to you guys. Um, if you have USD and you want to send it to someone at Europe, you convert your US or you send it through your financial institution connected to the Stellar network. And how it works is your USD converts to Stellar, Stellar converts the, the credit to Euro and deposits to your friend. Now this all happens under 10 seconds with a fraction of a cent fee. So at first you might be really complicated. This might be really complicated for you. You might not understand everything, but in a sense, what they're trying to do is have this really heavily researched and academic network and make it simple for you guys. So that all you have to do is click one button to send, let's say $5 to your friend in euros. And through the protocol, really complicated protocol, it would send that $5 to your friend in euros. So um, in a sense, it's trying to simplify the problem for regular day people globally. So I really like this project. Um, I'm not sure if I did a good job explaining. I tried my best, but this uh, Stellar Loomis is a very complicated system. Um, but what it aims to solve is very simple. So they have a very ac uh, heavily academic network, but for simple use cases, which I really like. So that's it for this video. If you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash that subscribe button. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the links below and I'd really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.